Oh, pirates again. This tie is playing musicians, but also going to be compass pirates. Have bricks. That's kind of okay. And I guess we play this. Should we be running Curse Scroll in this deck like the other deck? But this deck plays Aaron. I... Mm. Mm. Okay, let's do... I kind of want to play like this first. Nice, Roach goes back row. I kind of want to do this first and just like... Because this is never going to live later. We do this first, we protect it with, Ether with Crystal Skull, we can get another like 4 or 5 points with it. And the Griffin we can wait. Griffin can wait until we play the Harpies and then the Griffin can eat the last... We're using a lot of golds now, though. Like, I, I probably want to slow down a little bit and play some bronzes. We're a blue coin. The ethereal's gotten good value already. We traded up with the Toad Prince, kind of. Actually, did we even trade up? Yeah, I guess we did with the Raiding Fleet. The Roach trades with the Roach. Oh! What? 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 He's giving us a good... Oh, no, he's killing it. <laughs> I was like, he's giving us a good transform? There's the leader. Okay, so we get a leader out of him. So now, I think... Now I feel maybe a little bit better about... Committing like a Betsy. But do we play Betsy first or do we play Fiend first? Fiend's gonna get really bad if I don't play it now. Let's go Fiend first. Gulo, hello! How you doing, Gulo? Quidditch later? Wait, Quidditch? Is that supposed to be neon white? Never used some booze dolls for a club. I see Spear Maiden I have here, nice. Right, Spear Maiden, so good. Um maybe I should play Betsy in the row with the Cataclysm. And then we're getting rid of Megascope in one of these. We're, we're up 23 points, man. We're up 23 points, like... I oh my lord. Fire. He missed, but it's gonna die anyways. Uh, is there a Quidditch game? I, I have no idea. Bounce this. And I think we eat... I think we eat something that, like, helps this survive. I think we eat, like, this fiend. And it keeps it healthy at 10 so that it doesn't die. Maybe it gets heat waved, but hopefully at 10 it would survive. Axel. So he's compass for Ax compass for Focusia Axel later. Time to escape the round. No, we got a we have a lot of points. We don't need to be escaping the round. We have a ton of points. Uh, what's likely to give him armor? All right. You might have got away had you not been hauling so damn much. If he passes here, I might get Highwayman stuck at the top of my deck. 
Huh? Highwayman dodge? Okay, one. Just one. Just one. And then we still have ways of bringing it out with the truffle and the harpy, but he might kill the next ones. Like, we overkilled a lot. We overkilled by 20. Ah, oh, how do we draw? How do we keep fricking? Okay, um, hmm. Ay, yeah. So we have the Fiend as a Mamuna target, but I could put Griffin in the graveyard and get a Mamuna target that way. Arendite's a bit pretty big. This is first Onero. Okay. Just dropped in. What deck are we playing? We're playing Fruits Harpies. A new experiment. Fruits Harpies. Bow before modern Freya. Uh, Alright, let's Aaron like this. He obviously really, really wants it. I know it's a little bit early for Arendite. I wish I could have kept it for a little bit longer. Uh, we can eat this fruit anyways. Yustiana in round two. Post nerf Yustiana. How much damage do you think he has? So he has two armor here. Okay, so he, he had like... Yustiana normally starts with one armor, right? So she, he has 5 armor, 6 armor now, extra armor on things he started in the round in, in hand in round 1. Which means he can do 8 damage, 11 damage. So I think we're gonna eat... I think we're gonna eat that to go to 12. And hope there's no heat wave. Because if I eat anything else, I, I'm i gonna... It would die to Leader plus Terror of the Seas if he had Terror of the Seas in his hand. Oh, look at that! Look at that calculated! Okay. I think he has Smuggler in his hand. I believe he has Smuggler in his hand. Oh, but if I... The Smuggler's gonna ping the... Fucking highwayman. Okay, there's only one highwayman though. There's only one highwayman. Still worth it. You can pay the I don't have anything to eat this ways. egg. In silver or in blood. It's pretty annoying. I don't have anything to eat this egg. Should I heat wave this? It is probably gonna be one of my best heat waves. Right? Burn the homes, fell the tree, okay. anything shiny, plunder! Like a simple nerf can stop the greatest pirate in Skellige history. Yes, Diana. A simple two point nerf. That also reduces her damage. Ooh, that was close. Alright, we got them to play like all of their like Hjalmar, Bjorn, Terror of the Seas, Justiana. We got them played all that in round two. That was good. Really good. Yeah, Arendite's gonna be huge. Lamuna's great, and then Megascope for Griffin. I, I mean, I think this is the hand. This is the hand. Not gonna get any better than this. What do they have left? They have compass. They have compass left. Well, you will be 
points. I think we're gonna redeem ourselves from last game. There's the heat wave. Luckily, he didn't have it last round. Last round. He still has a compass for Fakusia into Axel. So that's why I'm playing one unit per row. Trying to delay his good compass. What are we taking with this Omira? I guess another, another mega scope. Um, so yeah, like this card ended up, we ended up playing, not playing four of our cards, which was Troubadour, Squirrel, Spores, and a Fiend. Which is good, right? Nice combi. That's not how combi works. That's not how combi works, yo. Would have lost anyways. You've seen worse by your own hand, yeah. All right, Blaze of Glory, Warriors. We're going second. Time to red coin abuse. Yeah, it happens to us all, exactly. There it is. It is Warriors. I'm gonna be able to put one card back, which is gonna be probably Troubadour. Let's go. Bean first. What did he discard? Invader. Unfortunately, I don't have my squirrel right now. It would be nice to have the squirrel and also be able to play the Betsy. I think we'll just have to forego the squirrel, unfortunately. And he, he even has the Blood Eagle. But like, I think we need to again prioritize the thinning. Getting the Highwayman out. Betsy has a higher chance of living now than she does later. So yeah, we're going for that. Mistake isn't getting into the situation where you lose on even in red coin. I mean, I think it could be. It certainly could be. <clears throat> like, there's a lot of different kinds of mistakes. You're maybe just thinking about more, like, cerebral mistake, but sometimes you can just, like, forget that you're... You know, for... You can forget... You're just not paying attention, and you didn't look at the score, or, like... Maybe he's... Maybe intentionally taking a risk, thinking that I wouldn't pass, and he wanted to try to get more carryover, and greed... Maybe he thinks he's really desperate in this situation and he needs to get more carry over to have a chance of winning. And that if we don't pass, if we do pass and take the tempo pass, and he's gonna like if he if he thinks that he doesn't greed this carry over, he's gonna lose the game like 90% of the time anyways. It might be worth taking this risk and hoping that we just like sometimes, maybe like, rarely, his opponent won't pass. There's a lot of different uh potential explanations for it, at least. I don't know if we should have gotten rid of the Bloodthirst or try to get extra points from the Fruits of Yskith. Yeah, you can even forget you're on the wrong coin. Yeah, for sure. I went to Best Buy this weekend to get a new Chromebook to do presentations for my classes this fall. They were out, so they said they would ship me one. I got the shipping info today. They're shipping it via DoorDash. Wait, what? Door? I guess. Door whoa, whoa, whoa! No Not one step. Chill, bro. Okay. So I guess he's not losing on even. I guess they're not losing on even. I'm 
I'm gonna get rid of the bloodthirst instead of the fruit here because if, if I eat the fruit, it's only at six power. I think it's gonna die. Right? This plus sav primal savagery would kill it. If they were gonna do that, they should have killed Betsy, right? Um, yes, I think so. I would agree with you. How much tempo do we have now? We have 15 tempo. Five, six, seven, eleven. No, we don't. We do not have fifteen tempo. But I think we we can probably play the truffle now. The mist's gonna pass me those lovely earrings, or do I tear them off myself? He hasn't clicked this. He still has another thing from this. If he has any way to discard anything, but usually not. They have used their stratagem already. He doesn't have a fully procced ice. No, it was a it was a not it was not a bloodthirsted ice. Leader is big though, yeah. Leader is pretty big. This leader combo is worth a lot. And he's staying in the round, which means he's probably still gonna lose on even. Right? Looks to me like he's gonna lose on even. Oh, I need to. I need to be playing in the right spot, right row, because now I need to play Griffin up here. <clears throat> he should have passed last turn when he was still up by two points. Yeah, I don't think he's ever going to be able to... Like, we even have a Mamuna that we could play on this Fiend if we really wanted to. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe maybe that's not true because I would have to then play the fiend and it would play as like a four. But I think even without the Mamuna, we should be able to win here. He's getting more bloodthirst, but the ice is gone. They shouldn't run champions charge with this leader, but it does, even if he does, it doesn't really matter. All right, we get to play a Griffin for eleven points. Not too shabby, and then now we can mega scope, mega scope. Throwing, passing, yeah. Seems like he's not. We still have some good stuff left. We've got Erendite that's growing. Uh, Riptide. Toad Prince might be awkward. Toad Prince, maybe you can find value on a Fakusia. Me! For me! <laughs> hmm. Sadly, this plays for no tempo. So the Arendite doesn't grow here. But we are ahead, we're still winning on even. I could click the Truffle to grow the Arendite, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. I might click the Truffle next turn to grow the Arendite. Because, not just to grow the Arendite, but to preserve the Mamuna so I don't have to play Mamuna into a Fiend. He must have awkward cards in his hand, yeah. If you click it anyways, you should have clicked it this turn. No, because he might pass this turn. Right? There is a possibility that he passes this turn and we get to save this carryover for next round. Now we have six carryover in round two and we sacrificed one or two carryover on the Arendite. Spores? Can we brick? Not really. Onero's gonna get Lady. You can call me Mama. Uh, I would wait for the truffle. We're not passing it anyways. And GG. Yeah. I mean, I think it should be GG here. What can you know about I knows it well. Is the Megascope too slow? I wonder if I should have even played the Megascope. 
Then Riptide next. Probably with a Truffle Click. Although it's kind of weird. I shouldn't have put Mumuna in the middle. Oh, so he hits the Mumuna. That's good. Because I was worried about like tier, tier first form answering this. This is great for... And then I guess we do this because we're going to take a... We're going to take a... Um, a three power Lady of the Lake. So it's not going to thrive the three anyways. He still has a Facusia? Mm -hmm. Possibly. We're up 30 points. He has Primal Savageries that are 11 points. He has 11 point Primal Savageries, but like, he needs 32. That's a 2 0. Yep, that is a 2 0. Soft push 2 0 classic. Yeah, we didn't even play Ethereal. Or Toad Prince. I guess, like, Ethereal's not that great. Toad Prince also not that great right now. So we ended up having, like, the best round two hand, I think. Did he use his second Blood Eagle? Yeah, he did. For, for a Raider. We don't want to go to a round three. Right? I think we just 2-0. If we go to a round three, I mean, we have Erendite, I guess? But he could then play second form tier and shenanigans could happen in a round three. Okay. Easy 2-0. See, I do worry a little bit about this deck not having a much of a strong finish, like strong round three. After you win round one, if you spend resources to win round one, you spend resources to push round two without losing your last say. And then you've got like a second Erendite if it hasn't gotten squirreled in round three. And not that much. Uh... Hey, Ross. Like, I don't know. We keep getting games where we don't draw Lady of the Lake or Onira or Betsy in round one. This this is actually a pretty unlikely... Three cards to miss in round one? I think that's like 9%-ish? Something like that? Okay. Um... Can't let him grow, but you can't... It's also very difficult to answer Cleaver efficiently, right? Even if you answer him with, like, like one of the most efficient ways to answer him was with, like, a muzzle, he still trades up to the muzzle, even with one of your most efficient ways of answering. Uh, I'm not really sure if this is going to be knights or not. Every non-devotion deck I'm going to play this season will run a Lemons. Yeah, Lemons is really good right now. Same with Squirrels. I think at least Squirrel or Lemons. Oh. Oh, wait, this guy's playing my deck. This guy's playing our um, Reen Subduction deck. Here, this one. We put False Siri in our deck. So we want to save some answer for False Siri or force him to like abduction with leader. Uh, can't answer the Sandor? don't have answers man like for a control deck why do we have so why do we never draw our answers hmm okay so let's hold the griffin for now do this 
People need to play more warriors. That's why we'll diminish. Uh, I don't necessarily think warriors is that favored against SY. Loaded weapons. We're getting clogged. Play the second one now. I don't want to play so many of these bad cards, and I'm gonna get clogged too. Do we need our own Neuromancy? You seen this deck a lot these days? Yeah, because I made a video on YouTube and it was very popular. It was the first video that I made on uh, on this season. Miss, 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 Okay, seven power drone, yikes. So, like, I guess we're not playing the Betsy? Betsy's probably gonna get controlled anyways, with, like, Heat Wave or Reens. Or Lock, would they have a Lock? Uh, I don't want to play into Leo. There's a Leo, there's a Heat Wave. I don't want to play into Muzzle, so we want to be at 7 or 8 power. You might have got away hey, little Juanito. So Holy Sandor. <laughs> Holy Sandor value. Oh, man. No! Rude! Is there a place for Cosimo in this deck? I mean, you can maybe make space, but I had I played Cosmo in the other Arrakis Swarm version, right? And then we ended up cutting him for more control. I feel like you have to sacrifice probably like a Toad Prince for a Cosmo. I'd rather have control than Cosmo, which has to go with the Harpies. And if you don't draw it in round one, then it's not good. We want to offer him a muzzle. Yeah, I mean, if he muzzles now, then he doesn't muzzle the ethereal later. We can offer him this muzzle. We are ahead on even at the moment. It's good, but... Uh... Okay, he does take it. Nice. Alright, we're playing for points! 15 point Selena Harpies. We have a, we don't have a Harpy left in the deck, right? There is a, there is a niche, niche, very rare situation where you can Mamuna for a Harpy. Okay, he's setting up the Tall Punish in the Leo or the Heat Wave. He's gonna use Leader now to get ahead. So now... I would really like to save like an Ethereal or a Griffin for this False Siri when he does eventually abduction this False Siri. Because he can't activate it on the same turn anymore now without leader. And there's not enough turns for him to abduction the False Siri now at this point, because it will be four, five, six, seven only. Let's get this over with. He plays Geralt of Rivia. Maybe he doesn't own Leo? I don't know why you would play Geralt of Rivia instead of Leo. Mm, I need nine points to get ahead. He does the spores later. Spores is probably going to be as good as it gets here, huh? Wait, what? What happened to my math? Apparently, I did. I needed more than nine points. <laughs> Apparently, we needed more than nine points. Um. Huh. Okay. I don't love buffing this, but I might thrive this with this. Heat wave the heat wave the Griffin. So now I have to Mamuna Fiend and not Griffin. And then so we would hold Griffin for the False Siri. 
Old Griffin for the False Siri and Mamuna Fiend. He might also not take this abduction. He might just take the abduction of the drone. The heat wave for that 17 power drone. We have Oniromancy as well. Okay, we want an even. What do we think his last card is? Reince? Rico? Something like that. Reince Rico that he couldn't play? Maybe Bricked Mage Assassin? It's not Abduction. He would have played Abduction already by now. Oh god, we're we're clogged. <laughs> we are clogged. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we got an Onero. That's fairly good. Do we want to push here? If we push here, we get to play two Arendites. It all it lets him play two abductions. But I don't mind if he plays two abductions, I think. I also like thinning. This also is good for our Arendite. Even if we don't play two Arendites. Still good for our Arendite. He still has a Heat Wave Reince. Um, heat Wave Reince Lydia. Abduction. Lightmaker. Those are the big cards. Heat Wave Reince Lydia. Abduction. Lightmaker. Pay no heed to my face. Oh! It was only a five. Okay, it was only a five. No, no more. Oh, dude! If we didn't, if we didn't open with the Mamuna, he could have gotten our fiend, and then our Mamuna would have actually been bricked because he heat waved our Griffin, and he would banish our fiend. Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> okay. Um. Oh, he did use heat wave. Yes, you're right. You're right. He doesn't have heat wave anymore. So he has Reince, abduction. And Blightmaker. The good of the Empire. This is not coming over, is it? I guess if he has... Oh, he could have another Boo Hurt, right? He hasn't played all of his Boo Hurts. He played one Boo Hurt from Menno and one Boo Hurt from Leader. Okay. So... I mean, this is a tall-ass unit. <laughs> this is a tall-ass unit. It is a seven? Oh, it is, it's gonna go over, but, like, I'm saying, like... Yeah, no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. It's gonna go over because the abduction into Boo Hurt, but we could Griffin this now. We could Griffin this now. It's pretty freaking good. But I miss... my Arendite. The Heat Wave is still gonna be good. Heat Wave's gonna be good later for the uh, drone. I think this is the play. I think this is the play. We'll still be up 19 or 18 here. And then we pass. And like he might have Reince in his hand and he has to like YOLO the Reince. Did he find it? Oh, he got it. Okay, but we're still ahead. And this way we kind of get rid of the Reince. I... It would have been much better if we had like Lady of the Lake or Heat Wave in our hand right now. Okay. Right. Kill. That's fair. I just need to... I just need to draw like one good card. Because we have the Oniromancy. That's really good. That's good. Uh, Toad Prince? He's a Blight Maker. Anything really, really bad. Good enough. Let's just play this so that we can grow our Arendite. I don't think it's really going to matter either way. The one point shouldn't matter. Oh, actually gave him something to buff like this. Um... But, uh, it's fine, right? Be fine.
Mimon, thank you for the raid. Hey, how, hope you had a good stream, Mimon. Nice. GG. We are playing some... Fruits Control? We're playing from some Fruits Control with like Harpy Package. I'm trying it out, seeing how it feels. It's been doing so-so. It's not super consistent. It has some like consistency brick issues or like round one draw issues, I would say so far. But it's been doing okay. All right. We bullied the we bullied our viewer who played our deck. Baited. <laughs> Baited by the Rain Subduction deck. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The Reign Subduction deck, I, it did feel pretty decent. It did feel pretty decent, but uh, I think we got the better coin there. Some echo in the audio. Yeah, because I'm on speakers. I could turn down the volume a little bit. Hopefully that'll help. Hey, have a nice stream. Thanks, Miamon. Hope you have a wonderful day. You bore me so bad. Nalu, is this Nalu David? Do you think your Golden Necker NG deck could be a viable option for NG levels given all the nerfs that we have suffered? Uh, from last season, the double Golden Necker Echoes deck. Yeah, I think it could be a viable option. I haven't played it this season. Um, it did also get nerfed with the Blightmaker Mage Assassin combo. But other than that, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Like, it should be fine. Um, I would also try this... This Abduction, uh, abduction Reens deck that we played on Monday. Stockpile. Oh. Hey, we actually drew some stuff this time. Okay. Not too shabby. I pass on every Technically not your deck because you use Leo and not Geralt. True. Okay, do we want to Oniro or Riptide? If we Oniro or Riptide, we're missing Truffle. For our big combo. I, I mean, like, this Carol Ballista, it's not that big of a threat. Right? It's not that big of a threat. Let's go this first, and then I think we'll play Betsy next before this cools down again, and he can use this like he, before he can set up too much more damage. Checkmate. Stockpile charges are worth a lot. Stockpile charges are worth a lot, but like, can't really answer it. I don't want to heatwave it. Now we're gonna do. What are we gonna put back? Megascope? Oh shoot, I should have put back the Fiend. Hmm, yeah. I should have put back the Fiend instead of the uh instead of the Megascope here. Well, the Fiend did get me it did grow my Oh, no, it didn't grow my Erendite because he uses uh, crystals. Oh. But the Megascope would be very bad at growing the Erendite, right? Is this stockpile that going to be Devotion? We're going to have to bounce this Troubadour target right away. 
Hey, hey. This might be a heat wave. We need to push, right? We need to win round one and push. Oh, I don't want to heat wave that. It's a what pretty meh want? heat wave target. Yeah, I bet he's playing Vess. Kind of feeling like there's a Vess. Um, what do we consume here? The fruit? I guess it makes sense. To consume the fruit. Can he do nine damage? Probably not. If he had, if he could do nine damage, he probably would have dealt nine damage with the to the Betsy. And then now we've reset the fruit. I have the option of playing Ethereal as well. Hmm. That card is annoying. That's, that card's gonna send these highwaymen back. Um. Maybe we should go and get Truffle? No, I mean, there's still some flexibility. There's still some flexibility with the Aniro. I think maybe we don't need to get the truffle right away. Stick him up. High as the clouds. Now. And we could even we could ether oh. oh. Hmm. I was hoping to like ethereal here to transform the highwayman, but now the oh, he's not sending the highwayman back. Really? Probably playing Revenants. He seems to be like trying to set up Revenant targets. Yep. Out of luck. Tomorrow we home. Mm. For the king. Okay, so I mean, are we going to Toad Prince this Revenant then? He has one damage. He doesn't have a ton of damage right now. I could go and like Ethereal this Highwayman first. Ethereal the Highwayman first, and then, like, he might not be able to get a 1. Maybe he kills the fruit for us to spawn this. That's not too bad for us. I I kind of need to transform these before I play my last Harpy, because if I if I play my last Harpy before I transform these, this, re this Ballista will clog them to the top of my deck. Okay. Oh yeah, now now what? We Erendite to kill the Revenant? We could Erendite to kill the Revenant, we could Onero the Prince. Onero, the thing with Onero is Onero would be very nice for Truffle. Would be a lot of points for Truffle here. Oh, he's gonna go double leader to go to set up a. Oh no, he just wants to get ahead. He just wants to get ahead here. But will he leader again? No, he's not gonna leader again. So we gotta answer this now. What do you guys think, chat? Erendite for four to kill this or Onero? The sword is weak. It's kind of low tempo, but it's enough to get us ahead. And then we leave the Onero open to have flexibility for maybe the truffle if the round keeps going really long especially because like he might ping this highwayman it will boost the one it won't boost the one because we only have four damage Miamon wants to play griffin here Miamon wants to play griffin here on what on the troubadour I like to play Griffin on this Harpy Egg after we finish playing all the Harpies. I... I kind of think... I'm leaning towards this. 
because I don't know if we're gonna get a good target for the Toad Prince later. We might not actually get a good target for the Toad Prince later. If he doesn't play the second Revenant, for example, if he AAs out like those reinforced Ballista and doesn't have a second reinforced Ballista, that's good. I can also consider using the Erendite to kill this so that he doesn't send this back after we play the Harpy. It's not that big of a deal if he sends this back, right? There's only one of them. It's a little annoying. But there's only one of them. It's not like there's two of them. We could also Griffin this. We could also Griffin the Highwayman and then Harpy this. Okay, this gets sent back. This gets sent back. Um... If I play the Selenal Harpy now, he might ping it, but he might also just pass. Like, we're up 17 points. We're up 17 points here. I now I have the choice of either griffining the... If he doesn't send it back right away because he thinks maybe we have another griffin, or another uh, harpy from Truffle, then we have the choice of griffoning the Highwayman or griffoning the Harpy Egg. Griffoning the Harpy Egg would be three points more than griffoning the Highwayman. Oh, we're getting a Henselt. He's feeling desperate. How many leader charges is going to use? At least one more. Right? This is doing six damage now. I can kill the Faultess Pride if we want. It doesn't get me ahead. It's a tie. If I kill the Faultess Pride, it's a tie. No, it's not even a tie. This gets one... Hensel gets one point. Um... Okay, what do you guys want to do? We Griffin the Highwayman or Griffin the Harpy Egg? We got the Hensel out. I don't feel like we need to win the round anymore. So I think we take the... <sighs> but Griffin doesn't get us ahead. Griffin on Highwayman does not get us ahead. It doesn't get us ahead. It's only nine points. And it's a, it's a still we're still one point down. So like Griffin on... Harpy Egg is 12 points, 12 tempo, and it gets us ahead. Harpy Egg does get us, get us ahead. This plays for 12. We're at 57, and he's at 56. Right? It's 12 because of the fruit. It's 11 plus 1 because of the fruit. Okay, that's good. He still doesn't really want to ping the Highwayman. I think that's good. <laughs> and he uses another leader charge. Okay. Yeah, he's still choosing not to ping the Highwayman. Uh, right now, he's at 65. We need 15 to get ahead. None, none of these cards, neither of these cards get us 15. So if we play, we need to be willing to use both cards. I'm definitely willing to use first Erendite. But am I willing to use Heat Wave? This deck should play Siege, right? I think we're passing now. He's used almost all of his leader charges, so Tamarin Infantries, if he's playing them, are gonna suck. The Henselt is not the, the Henselt is gone. That's the big That's the big threat of this deck. And he's used two reinforced ballistas and a Carol Ballista. He still has. AA, I think. Second Highwayman got transformed into a demon. Hmm. I think this hand is fine. We have a dry pass card. We have control if he decides to push. We have Erendite. I don't want to brick the Erendite. I don't want to draw into like these kind of bad cards. Spores, Squirrel. Megascope is questionable. I 
I would probably lean towards playing Erendite, Lady of the Lake Erendite here. And just mulligan the Fiend. So I, I get two targets for Mamuna. And this thins as well, so it helps, like, alleviate some brick pressure. It kind of thins, but it kind of doesn't thin since we get the Erendite back. Uh, what do we want to draw? We want to draw Mamuna Truffle Megascope, basically, right? Oh, no, actually, Ar Arendite Mamuna Truffle or Megascope. Not Squirrel. And then I think this hand is a keep. So we don't break the Griffin. Then he still has maybe a second revenant. We do have the answer for. Yeah, I mean this looks good. I think we're winning. Our weakest card is the megascope for nine. We've got two more controls. We retreat. We hide. So He's trying to crew. Very nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think we just let that live. Right? And we play... Muna now. I'm gonna play front row. Even though this makes me have to play the griffin, I think we still just play front row. Just eat the fruit. Curse of Night with a seven stream watch three. Yo. What other big threats does he have left, if anything? He's played the second AA. Yeah. The answer was nothing. Um. Maybe just like forbidden magic into another revenant, but that was pretty good. We were able to control the engine overload deck. Fairly well. We we tanked the engines in round one, forced out the Henselt because we were red coin. This would have probably gone worse if we were a blue coin, right? He would have just not committed and saved the Henselt to defend the bleed in round two or save like yeah. Oh no, a cursed knight. Hey GG and all the David. Are you playing Tamarian Infantry in that deck? And Vess? Enslaved. Hmm. Enslaved five. Enslaved five. So shoop. Enslaved shoop something. Uh. Get rid of the spores or squirrel. I think I want to keep the squirrel so that he doesn't tor- like, if he has Taurus, I'd rather him not Taurus the squirrel right away. Yeah. This guy plays Ardle Arendite, I think. Oh. Ardle Arendite. Ardle Arendite with Enslave 5. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay. Welcome back, Geralt of Rivia. Do I want to shuffle back Arendite or Squirrel? I mean, if he plays Arendite, but he's not going to play Arendite in round one. And I'm guessing he's not playing Taurus. I guess we shuffle back the Squirrel for now. He's seizing. Seizing the Betsy. <laughs> okay. That's a little concerning. He's probably going to play assassination and stuff. Like, don't know if we want to play the ethereal right now, which would play into the assassination. I think maybe what we would do is we would want to... Um, Go like mm. maybe Betsy first. Not Betsy, sorry, Troubadour first. And then hope that this one lives and then we can play Harpy. We bonded. I shall Eleven provision Calvin. Okay, okay, okay. We need twelve. We need 12. This is 12. How much is Harpy? Harpy is 9, 10, 11, 12. Harpy is also 12. I don't think the print... I don't, I don't think the Toad Prince is getting better than this. Thoughts on Mill Cogram? What do you mean? What thoughts on Mill Cogram? I think Mill is bad. I think Mill Cogram is... Probably even worse than just regular mill. Helga incoming? Wait, why? Don't scare me like that. Why would there be a Helga? Uh, he's probably got a tall punish. I don't think we want to eat the fruit. Just like too tall. I think we want to maybe eat the lady to be at an eight. Yeah, Helga would play in Slave Six. You exactly. can pay the toll in one of two ways: in silver or in blood. He's playing very slow. So now, now what? He's gonna pass soon. Right? So I don't really want to play my Harpies, it's going to pass soon. Maybe we just Griffin one of these. But oh, Plin Igni. Okay. Very successful round one. This deck is very good at winning on even. This deck might be even more, like even better at winning on even than the werewolf deck, right? It doesn't have to play, it doesn't have to play alpha werewolf. Um, and the harpies have more tempo than whatever the werewolf deck plays. Do I want a troubadour? Um... Might be worth like. Might be worth. Fifteen. The troubadour might be worth fifteen. Spores is pretty bad. Fiend is okay. Ah, oh, I'm still getting assassinated. <laughs> We're still getting assassinated here on this ethereal. I mean, 
You have our undivided Anna Henrietta life. into Fruits of Skith. What is this deck? Enslave 5 Anna Henrietta with Fur Cart and Magni Division as well as Calvi? Like, why do you need to thin this much? What did he put spying on? He put spying on Betsy? And he put spying on Troubadour, I think, if I remember correctly. What are we getting with this Oniro? Mamuna? Right? Should I get it now for the best, in terms of like the best Thrive sequencing? Sure. He, he has all of his best golds though. He has all of his best golds, which is a little bit concerning to me. Right? He should have Shoop. He should have Shoop. He should have like Radea. Apparently a COC. Take our truffle now. Now that it hasn't been answered, uh, it'll play for eight or eight power at least. Nobody plays treason, right? And why did I play into treason? I did not need to play into treason. Like, he plays so much thinning for a Calvite deck. It's a waste of provisions to play Fur Cart Magni Division Council. Isn't it? Like a waste. Hey, Skittle Mosaic. Good to see you. Oh, I you're right. Better. It was the Yardle. Hmm. Well, I don't want to play this anymore. Let's make the treason even better. I mean, the point is he didn't have treason earlier, so now he's not going to have treason, right? I would, I'm thinking about just putting on the pressure. Like I also, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough units in round three. For this truffle. He's got control. Oh, not the fiend. Okay. So, we go for the two zero? I mean, I don't know about the 2-0. I don't want to play a Fiend. The Fiend plays for 5. 6. He plays for 6. You want to go for it? Shouldn't he still have Shuperdea in his hand? That's a lot of points. Shuperdea is like 15 plus 14. That's 29 plus 6. Plus 2. 35, 37. He has 37 points. He's at 74. I can't get to 74. I can get to 69. I think we're passing. Nice. Invo. Okay, so is he even Shoop? He plays, oh, okay, right, 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 there's Aaron Knight. Okay, so I was wrong. I was, I would have 2 0 him, damn it. What did he invo? He invoed M Mamuna? No, he COC'd Mamuna. What did he invo there? I am up two cards. True. Anybody see what he invoked? 
Ah. But I mean, we should win, right? So he's in Slave 5, but he's not playing Shoop. He's playing Invo COC Muzzle and something. And he's not Shoop, yeah. Griffin was the Invo. Oh, uh, yeah. Turns out it was. 2450.